Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Hexer is here, and today we will be covering and reviewing the set for the Emperor Shell Sticks, a reworked version of the slicing ammo by request. Now, back in March, there was a patch that nerfed the overall capacity of slicing ammo, as well as its ability to stagger and do damage. Well, when I say nerf, I actually really mean balance. It was extremely broken, almost to the point where if you didn't have a Google S Whale and a Xeno Spare Shot ammo up crit build for it, you were missing out on some serious shenanigans, like the Dung Pod exploit. Go look it up. Anyways, uh, with this set, we are going to be running a light bow gun with a recoil suppressor and two reload assist mods. This is because it only takes one recoil suppressor to bring the slicing ammo's recoil down to two, while two reload assists will bring the re reload down to normal. This will allow us to be permanently mobile, either while loading or shooting without any kickback at all. This is huge. Also, I have the weapon augmented with attack. You can put an affinity or health regen augment here. I felt that it had a little too low raw and needed a little bit extra damage uh, for this particular build. So for the gear, we have the Kulv Helm, chest, gloves, and waist beta, Dante's leather boots, and a challenger chew charm. Now, I know that seems fairly unoriginal and practically using an entire set here, but first let's take a look at the skills we have um, before we get into that. Now, we have critical eye 5 for the 20% affinity, bringing our base affinity to 30%, agitator 5 giving us 20 attack and an additional 15% affinity while the monster is enraged. And I'll show you a little trick on how to start the fight with enraging a monster fairly quickly. Next, we have ammo up 3 to increase our magazine size of slicing to 3. Critical boost 3 to increase our critical damage from 25% to 40%. Up next is weakness ex exploit 3 for 50% affinity to weak points. Stun resistance 2 gives us that uh, reducing stuns. Special ammo boost 2. This skill is actually really handy. I'm sure you noticed in the intro those three wyvern blasts did about 1600 damage. When everything goes off perfectly, yeah, go back and watch it. Uh, count it up, it's over 1,600 damage, not including the slicing shot or the bombs. Uh, go ahead and ignore Power Prolonger and the Handicraft, uh, but Spare Shot. Uh, this is directly from the Lunester's Light Bowgun directly, and it's awesome. But let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, jewels we socketed to achieve these skills. All right, so we have a Tenderizer and Expert Jewel in the Bowgun, a Critical and Expert Jewel in the Helm, a Critical and Expert Jewel in the Chest, a Challenger and Expert Jewel in the Gloves, a Challenger and Expert Jewel in the Waist, and two Expert Jewels in the Boots. But let's go ahead and test this out on a Tempered Kushala Deora. Okay, so I did take an attack up uh, large food buff, so I am going to use a max potion to start, uh, equip my flash pods here, and then pop a demon powder for a little extra damage. Now, I previously mentioned enraging a monster. There are two ways to do this. The first is to start off by immediately putting it to sleep and sleep bombing it with all three wyvern blasts. Uh, this will piss it off royally, uh, almost always triggering agitator. The second is to do it without sleep bombing, since we know this fight, we'll let Kushala just piss himself off, knock himself over, and by the time he gets up, Agitator should kick off here. Let's see. Screams, and there's Agitator. Yep. So now we have 45% affinity. So we really get to take advantage of that 95% affinity to weak points and that plus 20 attack. Now, it's been a while since I've done Kushala just because of all the extra events. He still seems to hit like a truck. I don't know, for whatever reason he seems to be hitting harder than some of the other Elder Dragons. Maybe I'm just a little rusty. Um, However, it does seem to be real easy to get knockdowns with slicing ammo against him. Now, just make sure to keep placing those slicing shots on the face and keeping some serious sustained damage on him, and that way... See, there we go. It 
always use the Wyvern Blast whenever you have a chance. See, that spare shot just gives us... Look at all those extra shots we can just get off. Yeah, you're not a happy camper, are you? And as you notice, I mean, those Wyvern Fires, as they come up, the synergy between those and the actual... Whoop, the synergy between those and the Wyvern Blasts, those extra slicing hits will set them off. So it makes it really handy, even if you only have one. Place another Wyvern Blast here. And down he goes again. As as you can see, I mean, slicing is extremely handy here. Now, normally this is where I would go back and restock. Uh, I'm going to try something a little different here since he has a three star weakness to. Thunder and the Emperor Shell Sticks does have the capability of loading and rapid firing lightning. I'm going to try and finish the fight without it. We'll see how that goes. But probably I'm going to run out here. Oop, I don't want water. Let's see if we can put him to sleep. Nope. Oh. Go ahead and flash him. Don't let him. Don't let him get away. Oop. Did I just? I accidentally put him to sleep. All right. We'll go ahead and bomb him then. Oh, those were large barrel bombs. I messed that up. Okay. Still, Gushala should almost be dead. Ouch! As you can see, yeah, still hits like a truck. Picking really bad time just to take my shots here. Maybe I should have gone back for some extra slicing ammo. Oop! <laughs> he walked right into it. There we go. Let's see you survive another wyvern blast here. And dead. Let's take a look at the time on that. So 5 minutes 34 seconds. Even though I'm a little rusty, having avoided this fight lately, I didn't have Feline Booster, and we still dropped Kushala in a fairly reasonable time. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you did enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Also, I have added a schedule for upcoming videos uh, that will be released by request in the description. So uh, be sure to check that out. If you would like to see a particular weapon or a particular build, feel free to leave a request in the comments below. And as always, happy hunting!